Hey, what's going on, Chess Fanatics? A uh, bit of a different video for you guys today. So I did play my first chess tournament uh, maybe about a week or two ago now. It was a great experience. Uh, not only did I play in it, but I was uh, kind of the uh, arbiter, uh, second arbiter, I guess, in the scenario. So I ran all the pairings. Uh, it was a really fascinating experience and uh, thought what I would do is go over a little bit of uh, some of the how-tos, at least from the Chess Federation of Canada's perspective, talk a little bit about uh, what it is that they're offering and what I wound up doing instead. So if you go to the website and take a look at the organizers, uh, you can see uh, a bunch of tools, for example, in regards to tournaments. And so we'll just click on that. Now, uh, basically, most people this day and age are definitely going to be using some form of software to run uh, Swiss pairings. And so the ones that we uh, have licensed within the Chess Federation of Canada are going to be Swiss Sys uh, and the Swiss Manager. So uh, you can still do things from a manual perspective, but basically uh, Swiss Sys and Swiss Manager we get licenses for and we can actually just... Uh, uh, reach out to them. They'll give you a temporary license that is valid a long enough period of time to run the tournament. And therefore, we don't really need to pay as individuals to uh, wind up creating a uh, a tournament pairings list with these types of software sets. So kind of cool. Uh, one of the challenges is, you know, they're really not integrated as nicely as they could be. Now, certainly you can, of course, go and download, for example, uh, the TD list, for example, it'll have all of the um, uh, kind of, um, you know, names and uh, ratings and all this stuff within a, a database effectively. And so it'll pull from there, but it's just not as intuitive. I mean, it's 2024 and things should be a little bit easier. And so this is where Chess Manager has come into uh, play. So I'm going to just log into Chess Manager and you'll, you'll immediately be able to uh, see uh, we have a really really clean menu you could run a whole tournament from a phone frankly like that's how intuitive i found this solution to be so uh, you can send text messages when the pairings are uh, made everything is live on chess manager as well so when you create and run pairings people can just go to chessmanager.com and they're able to actually take a look at who they're playing it's all just done automatically in the background you don't need to set up your own websites you don't need to do anything it is incredibly intuitive so let's just click into this so we can take a general look at how you set it up so uh, basically you just give it a name and set the period of time and you can have it shown on the calendar if you have a private tournament you can redact it of course uh, this is going to be local rated and fide rated uh, and if you go over here you can select uh, all of the relevant information uh, prior to exporting the reports so it's pretty, uh, again, intuitive. And if we go back, data for CFC, same thing. You just put in the arbiter's ID and the organizer's ID, and then you can download the reports and effectively just send them uh, to the CFC. And boom, your your tournament is complete. Like it, it just could not be, uh, couldn't be easier. So here, um, here we go. Like we're just clicking into it right now. You can see all the details. It looks really slick. Um, the standings, you can see uh, Nilo uh, rating 21-21 scored 4.5 points. He wound up winning. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, information regarding the way that we structured this. So it was game in 90, 30 second increments when we had 20 players there. And you can see the schedule. Um, again, we can see all the players. Uh, generally, things load very quickly. Here we go, pulls in all the uh, relevant information. We can pull up uh, the round information and click through it. People are able to verify and make sure everything was uh, input appropriately. So it's really, really handy, much more infinitely useful than uh, any of the other solutions that I've seen in the past. So I uh, really just wanted to highlight this a little bit. Um, but let's go back into Chess Manager for a second here. And I'll show you a little bit more about uh, what it can wind up doing. So. If you go over to the tournament page, this is a, essentially kind of like a markup language where you put in all the information. It shows you essentially how that's going to look. And again, the player information couldn't be easier. You want to add a player, you just click add a uh, player, put in their information. It is an absolutely brilliant system. It's so easy, in fact, that I'll show you how to create a new tournament right now uh, in a 
record amount of time. So let's go new tournament and we will call this uh, the test uh, tournament 2024. And we're going to say that it's good. Uh, yeah, so the 28th, that works. We're going to continue. Uh, we're going to say that I am the chief arbiter. It is going to be rapid and we're going to do um, 25 minutes, no increment. Uh, pairing uh, will be a Swiss system. So you can do uh, round robin, double Swiss, all kinds of different things. We will not show this on the calendar um, because uh, obviously it's just a test, but just know that everything will update in real time if you do click this. You can allow players to set up. I believe the, the solution will even take payments, which is pretty remarkable. Um, but uh, we're going to say this is not FIDE rated and we're not going to allow players to sign up either. We are going to do everything as the administrators. OK, so here we go. We have the main information. Uh, let's go to the tournament page and we're going to say uh, Lethbridge test tournament. And that's going to be good enough. Now the players. Here we go. We will add me here. So we type in my last name. I don't have a rating, just a, a, a rapid rating, I guess, uh, from quite a while back when I uh, would have randomly played a game. And let's just click uh, add new. So I'm already in there now. Uh, we'll go with um, another person from our club here. Now you can see it looks in the FIDE. If you scroll down, there's ECF, USCF, for example. Um, now I happen to know that uh, Garth is going to be uh, in here as um, the CFC. So you just type in the last name, colon, start typing the first name, and all of a sudden all the relevant information comes up. Uh, we will hit add new once again. We're going to just say player one test, and we're going to go player two test and there we go so we essentially have uh four people in this tournament and we're uh, gonna start scheduling some rounds so couldn't be easier you'd go into the round section um now there's a couple of things you can go into the settings and uh it, you know it says disable feed a mode in dashboard settings you can take a look um at the pairing engines, for example, you can use different pairing engines if that's something that you need to do. Uh, this Java foe is going to be uh, uh, appropriate for uh, what we're doing and starting board numbers. So um, for us, we're going to just say that's board one. But if you start at board 20, for example, you can just put 20 in there. Now, if you just hit pair, it's going to automatically pair everything right there. OK, so here we are. Um, we're going to save it now, as noted, you can hit send SMS. So it'll actually fire out all this information to the uh, to the players if they have uh, you know devices on them. Basically, all the relevant information uh, gets texted to them. And now we can imagine we're in a situation where, um, you know, maybe for some reason, um, player two and myself, we were going to I don't know, let's say take a buy, for example. So it's scheduled everyone. There's an even number of people. If there's an uneven number of people, it'll schedule a buy for them automatically. But what we'll do here is we'll click delete. And you guys will be able to see what happens. So now we're going to say uh, that I, for example, am going to have no opponent. And we have to schedule player two. And we'll also schedule no opponent. Now, this is important uh, because we're going to say now that um, maybe we have taken uh, buys. And so you can get a buy, uh, half point buy or a zero point buy. So maybe we'll say that um, that in this scenario, um, you know, I took a half point buy and player two also took a half point buy. That's all you have to do. It couldn't be easier. And in the uh, instance of, let's say, uh, Garth and uh, uh, player one here. Um, we're going to just say that Garth wound up winning the game. Great. We're going to hit save. And that's going to be everything right there. Uh, round one is uh, effectively now complete. So that's it. That's all right. If you wanted, you can delete this out again and go repair everything uh, for whatever reason. But now we're going to just say, hey, let's pair next. So it's going to bring up round two. 
And in this scenario, uh, we'll just again re repeat the process. So uh, I'm playing Garth in this scenario. We're going to say there's a draw and uh, there's a draw. We're going to save and we're going to go to the next pairing. So same thing once again, we're going to just say that there's uh, draws here and we're going to actually say, you know what, um, hmm, maybe for example, um, ah, you know what, it, it doesn't matter, but the point is you can put in a, a variety of uh, different answers, right? So uh, there's options for draws, there's uh, uh, essentially defaults and things along those lines. So it'll capture essentially everything that you would want. And uh, at this point, uh, let's take a look at the standings. And so we can see here's the, uh, the ratings, uh, the overall points that each individual would have scored. So we can see that uh, Garth is the winner in this instance. And uh, you have the uh, Buchholz uh, uh, cut, um, all, all the different types of, uh, uh, I guess, rating criteria are in here. And so we're able to uh, take a look at uh, who wound up uh, winning, you know, online. You can now also click this and you can start to export diplomas, for example, for people. So it's pretty cool the way that works. Uh, you could also say, oh, you know what? We made a mistake. Let's just delete this. And then you can go back in. Uh, so now we're in round two and you could do any modifications or you could redo the pairings again, for example. We'll just say redo the pairings. But at any point, you could say, um, uh, make a modification, right? So if we go back to the dashboard for a second and we go players and we say, oh boy, you know what? There's another player. So there's player three test. We'll just add them in there. And now if we go back to the rounds, we have to schedule player three. It knows this. And so we're going to say uh, this person got a zero point by maybe they were a late joiner for some reason and we're allowing them to play. And, uh, uh, let's see here. So yeah, we got, I think we got all the info in here. Is that proper? Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Okay. Let's just save this. We'll go here. Okay. Perfect. Player three again, zero point by. We'll go back to the standings and here we go. Once again, we can take a look at uh, who wound up winning. Uh, again, still going to be Garth in this scenario. Player three, we just added in after the fact he got zero points effectively, but incredibly, incredibly intuitive software. It's actually unbelievable how, uh, how good it works. I mean, the fact that you can send the text messages or look up things online is just amazing to me. Um, it's really, really easy software to use. It's also super, super economical. Um, I believe that they'll capture the payments, things along those lines, so people can register, make sure that they're selecting the right accounts, pr properly prepaying in advance. It is just a full feature software set. And honestly, it's, it's kind of put into shame some of the other solutions, uh, at least that are available at this point in time. Um, so I got to say, uh, this is really... Um, something that's pretty remarkable at this point in time, as far as, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, if you are looking at running tournaments, I highly recommend taking a look at, uh, chess manager. I'm looking forward to actually testing out the SMS, uh, for the next tournament. I didn't uh, do that, but I will do it in real time. Um, and, uh, uh, actually record that next time around if I can. So you guys will be able to see what it actually looks like to, uh, schedule a tournament um, if if that's possible for me to do given uh, some of the rules and so on but just wanted to say if you're looking to schedule a tournament you got to use this software it is too good uh, for the nominal fee I feel like they charge like I don't know maybe 60 bucks a year or something like that but it is it is worth its weight in gold uh, to be able to schedule things as noted on a phone you don't need any you know, PC or Mac, you, you just anything with a web browser. So I am, uh, I am incredibly impressed. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Uh, I hope you like this. If you are, uh, someone who does tournament directing, for example, uh, let me know if you've used this software or if you're interested in using this software, because it is uh, stellar as far as I'm concerned. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye.